What is going on, everybody? This is Mike from The Last Corvette. So it's been nine days since I purchased this gas-powered golf cart. This is a club car. Uh, it's pretty crazy. It's been uh, over a week now. But I've made several videos, service video, some add-ons, and I have a few more things on the pipeline. So anyway, what I currently have is the gas gauge that I mentioned in um, several of my videos that was requested by one of my kids. This is a Kelch style or a Kelch brand um, gas gauge. As you can see, you have your little uh, dial here, a little needle right on the face of the gas gap. Now this um, fuel gauge is specific to this golf cart as far as the depth of the tank. Uh, as you can see, here's the float. And as you lower it, it shows you uh, the fuel level just screws on like i said this was requested by my kids uh so that's the that's the gas cap there um other than that the other thing that i got is this bluetooth speaker it's i believe it's called ortizian or maybe ortizan but <laughs> ortizian i think is the proper way to pronounce it i did a little bit of research i got it i have it mounted in between the first row and the second row these are just velcro style loop ties uh it's bluetooth it's also is a power bank so you can actually charge your phone um and or whatever else device you want but what i'm going to do originally i had it mounted here I think it works better this way and being that it's portable, I can use it on the golf cart. It just takes a couple of seconds for me to basically unhook it and I can take it to the beach. I can take it, take it anywhere really. Um, it does have some LED lights. I'm gonna turn this thing on, on the sides. You see that on both sides you have some LEDs. They kind of change color. You can permanently change color or keep a solid color uh, or you can just shut it off completely. And uh, I'll do a later video and show you guys uh, how this thing sounds. It's about, a, I think, I want to say about 100 watts. So it's very loud. Uh, it has a couple of bass settings. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to install a uh, dual USB charge port in this golf cart. That way I can actually charge this um, Bluetooth speaker while I'm driving uh, this golf cart. So it should work out pretty well. So that's coming. I also uh, have a, a rear seat belt. It's just a, basically a single uh, seat belt with a, uh, with a buckle and a latch that I actually had for my Easy Go golf cart that I sold for the kids. This one sits up a lot higher so they can kind of buckle themselves in and be safe that way. Uh, they just mount right to, uh, once again, the rear uh, seat frame. And then from there, we got uh, a couple of other things. So we have, so I'm gonna do the seat belt. I'm gonna do a follow-up video on the speaker. I've tested it out. Like I said, it works great, uh, but I'll have to basically connect another device to it the way I can record and uh, show you guys how it sounds. The gas cap. And um, as far as the front goes, I do have a decal. So this whole shell, this whole body has been repainted uh, and it looks really nice. But usually on club cars, you'll have a decal that says club car. It's like brown and gold or black and gold, something like that. But I purchased a American flag, which is like black and silver. And it's the same uh, width. It's the same size as this little opening on the front. So that's coming. And then from there, I have a liner that you guys see here in the front that's gonna go on the back rear step of the second row or the passenger seat in the back. And then from there, we're just going to just drive it. Uh, and then most of my other projects, if I have time, I'll do some things here and there. I might, you know, restretch this bottom cushion because uh, I know I can do a better job, but everything else will be done in the off season as far as just kind of making this golf cart uh, my own and, and how I see it. But yeah, so uh, gas cap, um, Ortizian uh, Bluetooth speaker, and uh, we'll see you guys later.